What's going on guys, Tristan24 here, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I've got for you Match Week 41 predictions for the Championship Easter Monday games upcoming. Now Easter Friday games were incredible, some amazing results and outcomes and hopefully we can see a few more of them on Easter Monday. Hopefully you all had a brilliant Easter and thank you very much for watching the latest video of the match day vlog for Swansea commentary. If you haven't already checked that out, hop back and check that out. I and leave a comment. I read all the comments as well. So uh, it may take me a little while to get back to you, but don't worry, I'll get back to you in the end. Anyway, let's waste no more time. Prediction school on screen now. 257 points, I do believe. Let me know yours as always in the comments and let's get straight into these predictions. We start off with Huddersfield against Blackburn Rovers. Now Huddersfield, what a win for them against Watford. Blackburn lost to Norwich, which means although they've got one game in hand on Norwich and they do sit in sixth place, Norwich are chasing straight down at them as well as a few other sides, including Preston North End. Who saw that one coming? In this game, I can see Blackburn dropping even more points. Huddersfield out of the relegation zone now. They want to stay out of it now for the rest of the season. I'm going to go at the John Smith Stadium. Huddersfield 2, Blackburn 1. Next up to Wigan as they take on my side. Swansea City, uh, tough game. Against Coventry, we created a lot of chances. I don't know how we didn't score. But at the same time, I don't know how we didn't concede. So probably a fair result. Wigan, on the, other, on the other hand, only the 1-0 defeat to Sheffield United. And it probably could have got a draw out of that one. It'll be a tricky game, but I've gone for Swans 2-1. I feel like we can just about edge it. Won't be too surprised if we drop points. Next up, Cardiff City as they take on Sunderland at home. Now, a brilliant win for them against Blackpool. Uh, that almost certainly confirms Blackpool going to get relegated unless something incredible happens. We'll speak about them in just a moment. Sunderland, on the other hand, played out an amazing draw with Hull. 4-4 four, four in the end. Uh, reminded me of Swansea Red in last year. That ended 4-4. Four, four. Crazy, crazy games. Uh, in this one, be another crazy game. A five-goal thriller. And Sunderland just to edge it 3-2. But I could see Cardiff getting something out of this one. Maybe a point. I doubt all three, but I've gone for Sunderland, 3-2. Interesting game, that one. Next up, we move to Coventry against Watford. Now, Watford, what is going on there? It seems so toxic. I can't seem to get in the top six this season. And even if they somehow do, I don't think they're going to win the playoffs. Coventry, they're very close to the playoffs. Only two or three points off it at this stage. Uh, tough point for them against Swansea. As I say, they could have won it. They could have lost it. So a draw probably be quite content with that one as it was an away game for them in this one though back at home at CBS I can see Coventry getting all three points in a 4-2 victory at home next up Birmingham versus Stoke massive point for Birmingham against Reds in in the last game they're moving uh, far away from the relegation zone now I think they'll be safe for another season as for Stoke they went on that crazy run one nil up at half time against Bristol City. Twenty minutes left, and Bristol City turn it around. What's happening there? Um, not too sure what's going on for Stoke. Hopefully, in this one they can bounce back for their benefit. But I've gone for a one-one draw in this one, so not the three points Stoke will be hoping for. Hull City versus Millwall is the next game. Now Millwall really do have to get the three points in this one. Uh, a tough draw against Luton in the last one. Could have gone either way, and that was a massive, massive game for them. So they didn't lose it, which is the best outcome for them, but they didn't win it. So in this one, they have to win it. They got a tough run in, and for me, they will. So I'll go for Millwall 2, Hull City 0. Hull, I think next season will look promising, but at the end of this season, I think, I hate to use the terminology, but I can't think of any other way to put it. They're on the beach. <laughs> Next up, we go to Kenilworth Road, and it's Luton against Blackpool. Now, Blackpool have appointed uh, Stephen Dobby till the end of the season. Ex-Swansea City player, hopefully he can do well, and maybe even send Cardiff down on the final day. Who knows, that'll be a dream. Um, anyway, in this one, it's not going to be easy for Blackpool. 
against Luton, who are third, and could even catch Sheffield United for second, because they've got a tough game this weekend. Uh, bit of a wild stretch to do that one, though. I don't think it'll happen. They'll get the playoffs for me, and another three points here, and a 3-0 victory at home for Luton Town. Next up, we go to Norwich, and they take on Rotherham. Now, what a win it was for Rotherham and Norwich on Easter Friday. In this one, though, only one side can get the result that they want. I think it'll be Norwich, you know, to get that. And with Blackburn losing, it could mean that Norwich could leapfrog into the playoffs, depending on other results. Next up, we go to Preston, and they take on struggling Reading. Now, Reading, if they end up going down, it'll be so mis uh, unfortunate for them, because, let's be honest, they don't deserve to be. They deserve to be solid mid-table. However, that's the way football goes. And in this one, I don't think they're going to get anything. I'm going to wrap Preston for a 2-1 win in this one. And they really could finish in the playoffs, Preston. Solid team, solid defence at the start of the season. Sort of had that period midway through where they weren't so good. Looks like they're going to end on a high. And maybe, even in the Premier League next season, could happen. Next game, we go West Brom against QPR. Now, this is going to be a tricky game. Uh, West Brom, obviously, not on a great run of form. QPR, dreadful. And it really does look like they could actually go down this season, which would be a big shame because they were top of the league after, like, 16 games in October, which is a big shame for QPR fans. Um, but this is a game where they could get something. West Brom recently haven't been great. Their aspirations of the playoffs look to be fading really quickly. So I can see QPR getting something out of this game. But for prediction, I'm not going to say anything for that. I'm going to say West Brom to nick it 1-0 at home. I wouldn't be too surprised if QPR got a point in this one though. Next up we go to Bristol as they take on Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough through a little bit of a rough patch recently. Not had a win in a while. I think they'll bounce back in this one. 3-1 win over Bristol City. And the final game it would have been a massive one, but Burnley are already promoted to the Premier League. Congratulations to Burnley, and they take on Sheffield United in second place. Um, I don't know how Burnley are going to play in this one. Of course, the celebrations, see how much that affected them. I can't imagine it being too much because Vincent Company seems like quite a strict manager, so you want them to win and perform like they've not even won the title yet. Uh, which they haven't, they've just got promoted. They'll want to win the title, as I say. So, Burnley in this one, I think they'll win it 1-0. But this should be a really good game. Because in the reverse fixture, it was something like 5-2 Sheffield United. So, it could be a thriller. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one very soon. Until then, guys, take care. Good.